All right, guys, today we're going to be installing some Timberins on this 2019 Ford F-150. Uh, this is going to be the model of the Timberins we're going to be installing today. As I said again, this is a 2019 Ford F-150, uh, just a basic XL edition. So some of the tools you're going to need today are is going to be a socket wrench with some sort of extender. You're going to need size 11 sixteenths. You're also going to need a half inch socket. And then you're going to need an 11 16th open ended wrench like this. And I believe that's all you're going to need today. Obviously some pair of gloves will be handy and you might also need a jack. So the first thing you're going to do is get your old bump stop off. So this is going to be your old bump stop, or at least that's what mine looks like. So it's got a hole in the middle there. And uh, this is going to be your replacement, and that's your timberin. So you can see the difference between the size there. I'm gonna gain a few inches there. So um, first thing you're gonna do is remove this from underneath your vehicle, and it's going to have a bolt right in the middle of it, and that's gonna be a half inch socket. So that's where you're gonna need your socket and extender on, half inch, and you can just remove that, and that should drop the whole thing out. And there's these little prongs here that stick up into the hole as well. So just make sure to hold on to that if you plan on ever taking the timberns off then you can put these back on so you can set that to the side for now and then you're going to build your timberns before you install them so on this one it says left so that's going to be your driver side one and how it's going to go on is this is going to go to the ends this is going to go to the inside of the vehicle so there's a hole here this is going to be where this is going to be where the uh, bolt from the other uh, bump stop came from so this is going to go directly into that and then you're going this one comes with a spacer so you're gonna have a spacer in between that and then you're going to have the timberin beneath that so you're gonna build it first and then we're going to install it all right so now in order to build it you're just going to take your top piece there and then you're gonna have your washer or spacer go in between there and these that hole on the bottom there will line up with the hole on the bottom of that one and then so will your timber so that'll be kind of the top of the timber and that will be the bottom so what you're going to want to do is grab a, a bolt here you're going to want this long one here uh, if you're using the spacer use the long one otherwise there's a medium sized one if you don't use the spacer and then there's going to be a smaller one and that's going to be the one you're going to use to actually attach this up into the truck so you're gonna want again the long one if you're using the spacer and you're going to use the big washer here that's the biggest one that comes with it it also comes with uh, just small washers that's going to be for the bottom bracket and then a locking a locking washer which will go onto the top of the bolt that goes into the truck so you're gonna want to slide the washer on to the uh, bolt there and you'll slide it into the big hole there on the bottom of the timberin there we go so that should slide through like that and then you'll put your spacer there on top of that and you should have a little bit left over and this is already has a nut welded onto it and it's a locking nut so you should just be able to kind of turn that onto there as far as you can go really doesn't matter which side it's on and this is where you're going to use your uh, 11 16 socket with the extender to tighten that down so you have to build this first before you put it on because once you get it on there's usually not a lot of room in between to get your socket into there so so just get that down as tight as you can and that's ready to go so now you're going to want to get that small short bolt and then put your locking washer so your locking washer is the one that's bent like that so that will go on there and then that will be able to go up underneath the vehicle so now in the meantime you're going to want to take your bracket here and this is going to be going around the axle and then you're going to have this bottom part here that's going to go around it to clamp it onto the axle so you can get that ready and you're going to have just two washers and two locking nuts so the locking nuts just have the rubber 
on the top of it like that. So now, let's just head into the vehicle and I'll show you how to install it. So like I said, first thing you're going to want to do is remove the old bump stop. This is your half inch. Alright, there we go. And it's kind of tricky because you can't really get your finger up there to spin it, so you have to use a socket, but the socket doesn't like to latch, so it takes a little bit, but sometimes you can fit your finger up there and kind of spin it, but... Alright, so there we go. There's the old one off. So now, as you can see, that's the hole that we're going to be using. Those two holes there are just the previous holes that used for the uh, those little spikes there. All right, now that you got it out of the way, now you can take your bolt with the locking washer here. Whoops, there we go. The bolt with the locking washer. And you'll put it through the top of the timber in there. And like I said earlier, this pointy end is going to go to the inside of the vehicle. So now I'll just line this up with that hole up there. And you can start at least threading it through. Make sure not to hit any of the wires. Okay, so if you can't get it spun on from down here, sometimes it actually works well to just go out to the wheel well, and then you can look directly in, and you can, it's a little easier to get your fingers up there to at least get it started. Alright, so now that that is hanging there, we can get that tightened up, and this is where your open-ended 11 16th will come in handy. Okay, all tightened up, and again, if you can't get it from down below, you can always go into the wheel well. It's a little easier to get at the access to there to uh, tighten that up. So that's tightened up, so that part is good to go now. Now all you got to do is the bottom part, and if you can see on mine, um, I have it's a raised bump stop, so it's actually higher. It hits earlier than it should, so that's your axle there. Um, and this is up higher so this will not be able to fit in there with um, the timber already on so what we're gonna do is actually jack up the back of the vehicle and not the tire or the axle or anything just the actual vehicle itself and then raise that up and then we're gonna sit that on top of there and we'll bolt that down okay so I actually couldn't get mine underneath there with the timber on so I just took the timber off it might just be easier to put this part on first especially if you have one of these raised bump stops. So then what you're going to want to do is put the square piece, the square end, on the inside, and this hole will usually go to the back. So this is kind of being going to go around uh, your U-bolts here for the, uh, um, spur the leaf springs, and that go around the axle. So you're going to want to get, it, get this up around all the wires and stuff, and it should sit like that, and you can see there, that's where that notch is and it sits right up next to that. So now that that's sitting in place, you got your U-bracket that goes on the bottom and your two washers and your two locking nuts. So you can uh, put those on, at least just finger tight for now. rest away in a second. Alrighty. And this is actually going to be a nine sixteenth um size. So you just tighten them down slowly. Just do one side and then another side. And the big thing to make sure is just tighten them evenly and make sure that your plate up here is sitting level. You don't want to over tighten one side and then um, otherwise it'll be sitting crooked and your timber will not be hitting it straight on. That's pretty much all it is to it, guys. Um, so then, if you didn't put your timber on yet, you can put your timber back on. 
and make sure that it's going to be sitting level on your platform here. So once it's sitting level on that platform, you're good to go. And that's all it is to it, guys.